PTCI welcomes you to our continued coverage of Oklahoma Panhandle State University Athletics today. We are at Carl Wooten Field at Anchor D Stadium here on the campus of Oklahoma Panhandle State University in Goodwell, Oklahoma. The Aggie football team opening up their season as they get ready to take on NCAA Division II opponent Southwest Baptist University, the Bearcats. So Aggies stepping up in competition for this first game. Captains getting ready to go meet at center field at the 50-yard line for the opening coin toss. Captains for the Aggies, a senior offensive lineman from McIntyre, Georgia, number 64, Tracy Todd. A 5'9 senior defensive back from El Paso, Texas, number 15, Nathan Alvarado. A 6'3 senior tight end from El Paso, Texas, number 80, Jesus Rodriguez. And the starting quarterback for the Aggies, a junior, a 5'11 junior from Greenville, Texas, number one, Brandon Stevens. Bearcats win the toss. They defer to the second half. So Aggies will choose. They'll choose to receive. They'll be moving left to right to kick off, uh, to receive the kickoff. So here we go with the 2023 Aggie football season. We'll go ahead and start giving you the starters for the offense. At quarterback, a 6'1", 200-pound junior, number one, Brandon Stevens. At running back, a 5'11", 190-pound junior, C.J. Campbell. He'll be wearing number nine. At the H position, a 5'10", 175-pound junior, number five, Jalen Partita. At the Y position, a 6'4", 235-pound senior, number 80, Jesus Rodriguez. At left tackle, a 6'3", 270-pound senior, number 58, Callum Anchando. At left guard, a 6'1", 290-pound junior, number 52, Gabriel Chalenza. Chalenza. At center, a 6'1", 300-pound senior, number 64, Tracy Todd. At right guard, a 5'11", 300-pound sophomore, number 70, Armando Lucero. At right tackle, a 6'4", 255-pound senior, number 55, Nicholas Kim. We'll get you those other receiver positions here in a moment as we get ready for the kickoff. Back deep, number two, Draylen Robertson. He's a 5'10", 180-pound junior, and number five, Jalen Partita for the Aggies. There's the kick, end over end kick, caught in the end zone, dropped. He'll take a knee, so Aggies will have it first and 10 at the 25-yard line. That ball was kicked off by number 16, Logan Turner. Our other two starting positions for the Aggies in the X position, number three, Ryan Acosta. He's a 5'9", 185-pound senior. And also a 5'10", 180-pound junior in the Z position. Number two, Draylen Robertson. So here we go with the opening offensive possession of the 2023 season for the Aggies. Play clock is already down to five. Not sure they're aware of it. They do get it off just in time. Handoff straight up the field. Moves to the left. Short gain of about two yards on the first play. By Campbell. So second down, eight yards to go. New Aggie head coach Corey Miller, his first game here came from the JUCO ranks where he had quite a bit of success and I believe a, at least a two if not a three-year stint 
Campbell again, he's going to be wrapped up back at the 25. He'll give him forward progress to the 26, so a loss of a yard. It's going to be third and nine for the Aggies. Southwest Baptist at their defensive tackle positions, 310 and 298. Some big guys. Shotgun for Stevens. Drops back to pass. He'll roll out to his right. Can't find anybody. Tucks it in to the 30, the 35, and out of bounds. That's going to be enough for an Aggie. First down up at the 38-yard line. Uh, Stevens, probably his best weapon is his legs. Can throw the ball well, but can be streaky at times, but the legs are always working well. First and ten. There's a snap. Hand off to Campbell. Finds a gap up to the 40. Breaks a tackle, and he'll be... Forward progress up to about the 42-yard line. So four-yard gain on first down makes it second down. Six yards to go. Rodriguez will line up in the backfield this time, man in motion. So two to the top side, single receiver near. Turn, fakes a handoff, quick throw back to Partita. Looking for somewhere to go, only gets about a yard. Defender fell down momentarily, but the pursuit defense was able to get there and shut down that play before it could get going. So that's going to make it third down and five yards to go for the Aggies. Trips to the top side of the formation. There's a snap, back to pass, under pressure. Oh, he's going to be sacked all the way back at about the 32-yard line. Looks like they'll give him one yard more to the 33. So it will be time for the Aggies to punt. Lining up to punt for the Aggies will be a six-foot junior. Number 99 from Borger, Texas, Garrett Hannon. Lack long snapper is a six foot one hundred and seventy pound sophomore, Tack Brewer. Back deep is number one, Brendan Smith. Short kick. That one goes out of bounds. Doesn't even make it to midfield. We'll have to see where they mark it off at. Looks like it's going to be. Well, now the referee's walking a little further. And they'll mark it at the Aggies' 45-yard line. So that's where the Bearcats will have their first possession. 11.05 to play here in the first quarter. They'll start in plus territory. Offensive line averaging over 300, yard, 300 pounds across the line. For the Bearcats. There's a snap. Fakes a reverse. Keeps it on the near side to the 40. 35 and knocked out of bounds near the 30. That was Jordan Kent. Actually a receiver who moved into that shotgun quarterback position. Colin Sutton, the quarterback. Back to pass, lets one go out wide, caught. He'll be dropped after a short gain, caught by Reagan Wilson. Dropped down there by number five, Desmond Green, a redshirt freshman from Crawfordville, Florida. 
So second down, eight yards to go. Sutton hands it off, finds a gap up in the middle, up to the 20-yard line. That'll make it third and about a yard to go. Carry was by number four, Abel Carter. Carter, a 1,000-yard rusher last year. Spent some time at Division I Washington State. So third down and one. Aggies trying to find a way to get off the field here. Hand off to Carter. Finds a gap. He's inside the 10-yard line. And that big bulky, bulking off, hulking offensive line, bulky offensive line out there, able to push forward. As they've got the Aggie defensive line outweighed by about 50, 50 pounds a man. Carter inside the five to the four. It'll make it second down. They can actually get a first down at about the two. Looks like maybe inside the two. Roll out to the right, finds a guy over the middle, and it is caught for the touchdown. Bearcats are on the board. That was caught, looks like, by number 88, the tight end, Jaquan Dorsey. So they'll line up for the extra point. Kick is up and good. So Logan Turner kicks that one through the uprights. 8.32 left to play here in the first quarter. It's Southwest Baptist 7, Panhandle State 0. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. So Partita and Roberson back deep again for the Aggies to receive the kick. So different kicker for the Bearcats, number 80, Connor Grittinger. High end over end kick. Going to be caught at about the two. Up to the 15, the 20, and fights his way forward to the 25 yard line. That was Roberson on the return. So Aggie offense will get their second opportunity here. First and 10 at the 25. Stevens joined in the backfield again by Campbell. Hand off to Campbell. 
Finds a small gap, fights his way forward for about three yards on the play up to the, maybe they gave him four on that up to the 29 or close. So second down, six yards to go. Stevens now in the pistol formation. Hand off to Campbell again. Oh, Campbell hitting the hole. Stays on his feet, though. Fights his way forward up to the 31-yard line. So a gain of two after really probably should have had nothing. So hard running there by Campbell. Makes it third down. And four yards to go. Stevens back to pass, lets one go too far out in front. Tried to hit Acosta on the quick slant, but just too far out in front. So another three and out for the Aggies. And that will bring on the punt team again. So number 99, Garrett Hammond. Set to punt again for the Aggies. Number one, Brennan Smith, he'll set up at about his own 30-yard line. Got it off, barely though, gets a nice bounce on it and goes out of bounds at about the 35. So well, that's where the Bearcats will have it first and 10. 6.47 still to play here in the first quarter. It's Bearcats 7, Aggies 0. So first and 10 for the Bearcats. There's a snap. Hand off to Carter. Oh, he's going to be dropped in the backfield. Number 56, Parker Mathis, the senior. Bust through on that one and blew that play up. 6'3", 270 pounds. Out of Lexington, Kentucky. Spent some time up in Dodge City at the Juco there. Back to pass, lets one go out in the flat, caught. Knocked out of bounds at about the 42 yard line. Green made the stop. Catch made by Roderick Weaver. So third down, two yards to go. Man in motion. Back to pass again. Plenty of time. Rolls out to his right, lets one go late. Caught in Aggie Terry at the 40. Fights his way forward to the 40, to the 35. That catch made by number 13, Avery Lambert. So first and 10 for Southwest Baptist in Aggie territory. Double tight, one split on each side, pistol formation. Hand off to Carter, breaks first tackle, finds a gap, 
Brought down at about the 30-yard line. Tackle made there by number seven, Lauren Sneed. Sophomore out of Sayre, Oklahoma. Second down, four yards to go. Now back to pass, under pressure. Oh, no holding call. Quarterback still loose, finds a gap up to the 25, cuts inside to the 20, the 15, and runs out of bounds at about the 11-yard line. T.K. Woodson, the Aggie linebacker, was just, they just got through and just, number 74, just grabbed the back of his jersey. No call, though. So instead, it'll be first and goal for Southwest Baptist. And in motion, Sutton pitches it forward. And he's going to be in trouble. Dragged down for a loss. We'll see where they mark him. Carrying the ball on that little pitch forward was Reagan Wilson. They'll mark him down at the 20. So big loss there. Loss of about 12 yards. You've got to get to about the two for a first down. So second down, 18 to go. Hand off to Carter, gets out to the right, finds a small gap, fights through one tackle, but he's going to be dropped after a short gain. Millsap on the tackle. Millsap will have to come out of the game as his helmet came off on the play. So big third down for the Aggies. Try to get a stop here. Third and about 15 to go. Empty backfield. Sutton back to pass. Plenty of time. Let's one go over the middle. Caught at about the five. Fights his way forward to about the four. They're going to be about a yard short of the first down. So it will be fourth down. Fourth down about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Sutton with Carter to his left. Fourth down. There's a snap. Hand off to Carter. Fights forward. He's got at least the first down. The pile will push. The rugby pile pushes him in for the touchdown. So Turner will line up for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick is up and good. So with 120 left to play here in the first quarter, it's now Southwest Baptist 14, Panhandle State 0. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. Don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today.
Renninger will kick off again for the Bearcats. Roberson and Partita back deep again for the Aggies. Here's the approach and the kick. End over end kick. Caught, dropped. Oh, back at the two yard line. Picks it up, up to the five and out of bounds at the seven yard line. So a costly drop there by Roberson. As the Aggies will start deep in their own territory. Stevens and Campbell in the backfield again. Two splits to each side. Back to pass. Rolls out to his right under pressure. Let's one go. That one's going to go out of bounds, just avoiding the sack. So second down, 10 yards to go. Play clock down to five, man in motion, handed off. Oh, he's going to be hit immediately. As that was Roberson they tried to get on that, but good penetration along the defensive line. As that play was made by number 98, Jalen Toussaint. So third and 15 for the Aggies. Ball at the two yard line. Under 30 seconds now left to play here in the first quarter. Pistol formation, hand off, finds a gap. Campbell's loose up to the 15, the 20, the 30. Past the 40, out near midfield. Just what the doctor ordered for the Aggies. Get out from out of the shadow of their own goal line. Ball up near midfield, first and 10 for the Aggies. They'll mark it right at the 50-yard line. I think the Bearcats overplayed on that one, kind of smelling blood in the water, trying to get a safety. They were able to bust one through for a big gain. And that is the end of the first quarter. It's the Southwest Baptist University Bearcats, 14, the Oklahoma Panhandle State University Aggies, zero. So as we get ready to start the second quarter, they did make an adjustment. Aggies will actually move into Bearcat territory. Ball at the 45-yard line. So their first trip into Bearcat territory. And 
And in motion. Flag on the play. So pre-snap penalty looks like. So Rodriguez going to be called for the early start. They'll move him back to the midfield stripe. So first and 15. Stevens in the pistol formation, turns, hands off to Campbell, trying to find a gap, fights his way forward back to the original line of scrimmage at the 45, so that'll make it second down, 10 yards to go. Empty backfield, trips to the top, two to the near side. Now look back to the sideline for the play. Play clock down to five. They're not going to have time if they don't hurry. Two, one, got the snap off just in time. Stevens takes it on the quarterback draw near side. He'll step out of bounds at about the 43. And I think they were just a little late getting that play in and really didn't get what they wanted. So it will be third down, seven yards to go. Rodriguez moves into the backfield. Take the handoff. Stevens back to pass. Plenty of time. Let's one go outside and just could not hit his open man out there. That was Miles Ratliff, number six. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Aggies. Looks like they'll keep their offense out on the field. And timeout on the field, 13-26 left to play here in the first half. Aggies trail 14-0. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. So fourth down, Aggies looking like they're going to go for it. Thirteen twenty-six to play. 
And instead, a pooch punt by Stevens. Bounds near the 10 yard line. And looks like they'll down it at about the 10 or 11 yard line. Ryan Acosta, number three down there to down it. And so Southwest Baptist will take over first and 10. So Sutton in an empty backfield. Three split to the top, two to the near. Back to pass, wants to go over the middle. Caught, breaks one tackle, breaks another. Still on his feet, brought down near the 20 yard line. So a gain of about nine on the play. So TK Woodson on the tackle there. There's a snap. Fake quarterback keeper on the read option. He finds a gap up past the 30 yard line. They'll mark him down at the 34 yard line. So first and 10 for the Bearcats. Trips to the near side, single receiver up top. They'll bring a man in motion across the formation. Back to pass, thrown to the outside receiver, caught. Enough for a first down, they'll call that an 11 yard gain. That was Isaac Scroggins, number 82 on the catch. Quickly to the line, snap the ball. Or the Aggies could get it a sub off the field. Throw it to Scroggins again. Ball into Aggie territory. We'll see if they'll take that gain of about seven or take the free five. So they'll take the penalty for too many men on the field. First and five from the midfield stripe. Sutton back to pass, lets one go to the near side and overthrows his man. Trying to hit number 17, Chance Pular. And that one was just way too far out there. That'll make it second down and five. Snap, fakes the handoff, rolls out to his left. What's, let's one go, got a guy wide open, 30 yard line, 20. Cuts inside, beats a defender into the end zone. Touchdown. Number eight, Jordan Kent with the touchdown. So Logan Turner will line up for the extra point again. Yeah. 
It's up and good. 11.01 to play here in the first half. It's now Southwest Baptist 21, Panhandle State 0. Roberson and Partita back deep again. Greninger set to kick off. End over end kick, caught at about the four yard line. Coming to the near side, finds a little bit of a gap up to the 20, fights his way forward to the 25. Once again, it was Roberson on the return. So the Aggie offense back out on the field. Stevens and Campbell in the backfield. Back to pass. Let's one go. Too high for Partita. And he really hung him out to dry. He took quite a blow there. You have to be careful with your accuracy, not just to complete passes, but also that you don't Hang your teammates out there where they're going to get, get drilled. Passes that are too high and things like that over the middle. Guy can get hit in the rib cage pretty hard. Campbell finds a gap. Still fighting his way forward. Only gained two on the play, but an impressive two-yard run. As the Aggies are having a hard time finding running room. Other than Campbell's long one run. Right before the end of the first quarter. 10-20 to play here in the first half. Stevens hands it off on the delay draw. And... Campbell will be dropped really there at about the line of scrimmage. Cade Musia on the tackle. So the Aggies will be forced to punt again. Brendan Smith back to receive it. Hannon set to punt. And Aggies took too long. Or actually, they'll call a timeout before see if they can avoid the penalty. I think they did allow them to say they called the timeout. So with 9.16 to play here in the first half, it's Southwest Baptist 21, Oklahoma Panhandle State 0. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, 
share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. Aggies set for the punt. Hannon able to get it off. Might have been partially blocked. Does not reach midfield. They did get a good rush on it. That one's going to be downed in Aggie territory at about the 47-yard line. The way the Bearcats are celebrating there, pretty sure... They did get a piece of it. Couldn't quite tell from my angle for sure. Aggie defense back out on the field. 9.03 left here in the half. Sutton, quick throw outside to the running. Oh, he's drilled and driven back. Still on his feet, but finally brought down. But just a fantastic play there. Partita was the first one there. Or excuse me, not Partita. We've got a lot of guys wearing single digits. That was Desmond Green, defensive back from Crawfordville, Florida. So second down, about 18 to go. Empty backfield, Sutton, plenty of room. He's got room to run up past midfield, the 45, the 40. He'll have the first down as he steps out of bounds near the Aggie 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Bearcats, 7.45 to play in the half. Handoff, avoids the first tackler, is going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. Oh, several Aggie tacklers there. Ty Woodson, Hogan Spencer as well. Calvin Griffin Jr. was the running back there. It'll be second down, 10 yards to go. Sutton drops back to pass. Under pressure now. Oh! Aggies are going to get a big sack. Number 42, William Rodriguez, and number 25, Victor Villa, for the sack. All the way back at the 43-yard line. So third down, 18. Aggies had the Bearcats in this position just a little bit ago, but lost outside contain. Sutton was able to run for the first down. Back to pass. Plenty of time. Let's one go over the middle. Oh, just past the hands of his out, outstretched hands of his receiver. Incomplete. Fourth down. And the Aggie defense looks like they may have forced. Southwest Baptist to punt.
Their punter number 83, Drew Buchanan. He's a freshman. Back for the Aggies, number six, Katino Ray. It's the punt off high. Kick. Bounds inside the five. And going to be downed at the 10 yard line. So that's where the Aggies will take over. First and 10. 5.49 left to play here in the first half. Aggies trail 21 to nothing. So Ratliff in the backfield with Stevens. He'll hand off. No, Stevens keeps it on the read option. Falls forward to about the 15-yard line. So gain of five on the play. Second down, five to go. Stevens back to pass, lets one go out there down the sideline. And just too far out there for Draylen Robertson to run under Robertson to run under. So third down. Five to go for the Aggies. 506 left here in the first half. Stevens back to pass. No, he'll take off on the draw. Trying to find somewhere to go. Falls forward near the first down marker. Looks like he might be a little short. We'll see where they mark it. Up to the 19-yard line. Stepped out of bounds. Under five to play. So fourth down a yard to go. And, of course, that deep in their own territory. Aggies are going to have to punt. So Hannon will come back on. And Smith will be back to receive it at about midfield. Got a good one off there. That one hits. Oh, nice drive back. Picked up near the 20-yard line. He's going back. Oh, going to be dropped. Back near the 10-yard line, just an incredible flipping a field of position, possession there. A punt by Hutton from the 10-yard line, hit that one on the right angle, and it rolls all the way back, and looks like it'll be about the 13-yard line or so. We'll see for sure where they place it down. Yeah, so 13-yard line. He picked it up about the 20. So just a 70-yard punt with an even better net. They're moving it all the way back to the 7. Let's see, a 70-yard punt and a net <laughs> of 83. They'll take that. 
4.05 to play. First and 10 from the seven. Sutton fakes the handoff back to pass. Plenty of room. He's got a guy out there caught near midfield. He's at the 40, the 30, and finally touches out of bounds at the Aggie 25-yard line. So a huge play flips the field once again. Sixty-eight yard pickup on that one. First and ten at the Aggie twenty-five. First and ten at the ten from the state the five yard line. Sutton with Griffin Jr. in the backfield with him. Sutton back to pass. Let's one go. Bubble screen. Dropped immediately by Herrera. That's going to be incomplete. Aggie's trying to argue that was not, that was a lateral, not a forward pass, but it looked like it was clear that it was a forward pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. There's a snap. Under pressure, lets one go near the sideline. Incomplete. But I think we're going to have some pass interference on Ray. Oh, that's maybe not a flag. That's just the pylon, it looks like, came out. So third and ten. With the sun hitting that pylon, it looked like Look more yellow than orange. 3-10 left to play here in the first half. Sutton back to pass again. Under pressure, avoids it. Breaks out to the left. Still under pressure. Let's one go late. Finds a receiver. He drops it. Fourth down. Sutton did a great job just avoiding the sack there. So field goal attempt coming up from 43. Kick is up, wobbling, and it is through. It is good. And with that, 2.54 left to play here in the half. It is now Southwest Baptist 24, Panhandle State 0. Greninger set the kick off again. Roberson and Partita back deep to receive the kick. High end over end kick. Partita under it at the five. Up to the 10, the 15, the 20, and hit hard near the 25. Austin Wilkerson, the linebacker with the hard hit there. 
Partita tried to cut back. He was mid him, hit him head on. There is a flag on the field back at the 14 yard line. And it is holding or blocking the back. So the Aggies are gonna be deep in their own territory. 2.45 still on the clock here before halftime. Aggies will have it at about the seven yard line. Stevens takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Under pressure, lets one go over the middle. That throw to Roberson was a little low, but that was mainly caused by the pressure right in his face. Couldn't really step into the throw. Second down. Back to pass. Stevens finds a gap. He's going to look to take off. Let's one go late. As there was nowhere for him to go, just got rid of it to avoid the loss. So third and 10. 2.32 left here in the half. Empty backfield for Stevens. Takes off on the quarterback keeper. Up near the 20 yard line, he'll have the first down up to the 21. So clock running at 2.15. That was a big first down just to keep the drive alive, not have to punt it from deep in your own territory and give it back to Southwest Baptist in good field position with two minutes left. So short throw is caught out of bounds by Rodriguez. Gain of about three on the play. Ball up to the 25. Second down and seven. 157 to play here in the half. Stevens back to pass again. Let's one go deep and overthrows his receiver. He had Roberson out there, but just threw it too far. He's really struggled throwing the ball today. Completed just one. I think he's one of seven or one of eight. Actually now two and ten after I guess he did complete that one right before that. So third down, seven yards to go, 151 left on the clock. Stevens, and he's going to be sacked. Back at about the 17-yard line, Southwest Baptist will call a timeout to stop the clock with 143 left in the half. You lock your doors to keep criminals out. 
but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. Don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit PTCI.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. So out of the timeout, Aggie punt team back out on the field. Hannon back to punt again. Smith back to receive it. Hannon hit that one at a fantastic angle, the last one. Let's see if he can flip the field again. Low, barely gets it off. That's a low bounding kick. Does make it past midfield at least. And will continue to roll all the way to the Bearcat 41. That's where it will be touched down with 1.30 left to play in the half. Aggies trailing 24 to nothing. So first and 10 from the 41, Sutton back to pass. Let's one go through the receiver's hand just a little bit high, trying to get it to Cade Musia. Griffin Jr. moves back to the right side of Sutton. He'll go out for a pass, back to pass. Let's one go, caught, cross midfield, fights his way to the Aggie 45-yard line. That one caught there by Kylan Herrera. So first and 10 for the Bearcats. Clock at 1.15 to play. Sutton back quickly to pass again. And that one knocked away by the Aggie defender. That was number 28, C.J. Holmes. Second down and 10, 108 left in the half. Plenty of time, pass over the middle to the 40, fights his way forward to about the 37 yard line. That'll still be a couple of yards shy of the first down. Third down, quickly, pass outside. Oh, intercepted. Great play there. And I've got every number in the book except number 26 who had that interception. He actually had the, the knockdown on the pass earlier as well. So two big plays by number 26. Sorry, I don't have a name on that one. Aggies take back over with 45.9 to play. First turnover of the game.
Stevens back to pass under pressure, rolls out, and he'll just have to let it go. Pressure forced him to the left and just couldn't square his body up to get a decent throw off. Second down, 10 yards to go. 38.3 on the clock. Fakes a handoff, Stevens under pressure, lets one go late. Incomplete on the pass. Almost intercepted. And Sloan Roller stepped in front of that one. Couldn't quite get his hands wrapped around it though. Third and 10 for the Aggies. 32.1 left on the clock. Timeout, Aggies, 30.9 left before half. It's Panhandle State zero, Southwest Baptist 24. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. So third down and 10 from their own 36 yard line. 30 seconds left here in the half. Back to pass, lets one go on the sideline to Partita. Defensive back there, Levi Career. There to defend on that one. Aggie sideline wanted a pass interference, but Looked like it was a good no call on that one. Twenty five point four left on the clock before the half. Hannon set to punt again. Smith back to receive it. Gets off a good one. Bounds inside the 10. Oh, picked up late. And he's going to be dropped back inside the 15-yard line at about the 13. 14.6 seconds left before half. Sutton takes a snap, handoff up the middle, finds a gap up to the 20-yard line, and looks like they'll let the clock run out on the first half. 
So a big hill to climb for the Aggies as they head to the half. They trail Southwest Baptist 24 to nothing. We'll be back with the second half. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. OPSU Aggie Drumline under the direction of Mr. David Vaughn. This evening the line invites you to get loud, get rowdy, and rock out as they perform their 2023 parade sequence for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your Crimson and Blue Ribbon Crew!
And ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 OPSU Crimson and Blue Rhythm Crew!
Southwest Baptist. Uh, first downs, 12 for the Bearcats, just three for the Aggies. Uh, rushing attempts uh, for Southwest Baptist, 15 carries for 87 yards. They averaged 5.8 yards per carry. Aggies with 17 carries for 88 yards, 5.2 yard average. Of course, I think most of that, about a 50 yard gain earlier by Campbell that got them out from the shadow of their own goal line is where most of that came from. Uh, 191 yards passing for the Bearcats, just four for the Aggies. Aggies just two of 13 passing, no interceptions, no touchdowns. 12 of 20 with an interception for the Bearcats. And I know they at least threw one touchdown pass on that. So total offense, 35 plays for 278 yards for the Bearcats. 30 plays for the Aggies for a total of 92 yards. So almost eight yards per play for the Bearcats and just over three for the Aggies. And of course, there are Aggies play at the NAI level. Southwest Baptist plays at the NCAA Division II, so they've got offense and defensive line. They're, they've got them outmanned by about 50 pounds per man on the line. So let's look at the Aggies' individual stats here in the first half. Stevens was 2 of 13 passing for just 4 yards, and he was sacked twice as well. Rodriguez caught one pass for three yards. Partita for one for one yard. Campbell was the leading rusher. Nine attempts for 72 yards. So he averaged 7.9. Like I said, had 53 for the long carry. So uh, most of the Aggie offense was on that one play. Stevens has also carried the ball seven times for 39 yards. Averaged 3.1 yards per play. And Roberson one carry and that was for minus five yards. For Southwest Baptist, Sutton was 12 of 20 with an interception, two TDs, 191 yards. Running the ball, Herrera had, or receiving the ball, Herrera had two catches for 82 yards. Kent had two for 58 and a touchdown. Dorsey had one for a touchdown. Lambert had one for 22 yards. Rushing the ball, Sutton ran four times for 50 yards. Carter ran seven times for 38 and a TD. Kent once for 13 yards. All right, teams are back out on the field. Aggies ready to kick off. Alan Munoz, a sophomore from Kingfisher, Oklahoma, will kick off. There's the end over end kick. Will be caught at the 11 yard line up to the 25 and brought down near the 30 yard line from behind by Dontrail Session. I can guarantee that's not Dontrail. Don Trail, that's the quarterback. Another number eight. We only have one on the roster so not sure who that was returning the kick was kylan herrera number 14 for the bearcats so here we go first and 10 to start this second half off at the 31 yard line And a flag on the play. Delay of game will move it back five, so it'll be first and 15. Ball will be moved back to the 26-yard line. There's a snap, handoff straight up the middle, finds a gap all the way up to the 35 before he's finally 
Broad down at about the 37 as Carter on the carry. Second down, four yards to go. Carter moves to the left of Sutton. Play clock under five. Hand off to Carter, he'll run to the right, finds a gap, 40, 45, midfield. Still on his feet as he cuts back, still loose. And finally brought down in Aggie territory at about the 31 yard line. Brought down by number 31, Jazir Merricks, a sophomore out of Trenton, New Jersey. Thirteen and a half minutes still to play here, third quarter. First drive of the second half. Fakes a handoff, back to pass, plenty of time, no pressure. Now under pressure, he'll take off on the run inside the 30 to the 25, and that's where he'll be wrangled down by a couple of Aggies. Number zero, Keyshawn Murphy in on the tackle. Defensive tackle from Marshall, Texas. Six foot, 295 pounds. So second down, three yards to go. Sutton back to pass. Plenty of time, no pressure whatsoever. Let's one go out in the flat. Left it up too high for Wilson, incomplete. That'll make it third down. Sutton back to pass again under pressure this time. Let's one go and incomplete there to make the play. Lauren Sneed, number seven. So that'll make it fourth down. Looks like they'll bring out the kicking unit. It'll be Turner on to kick this one. Turner one for one today. Made from 42 earlier, and he'll try this one from 42 as well. Kick is up, and it is good. So with 12, 22 left to play here in the third quarter, Southwest Baptist extends their lead over the Aggies, 27 to zero. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. And don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. Roberson and Partita back to receive the kick. Greninger set to kick off again for the Bearcats. High end over end kick into the end zone. They'll let that one hit touchback. Aggies will have it first and 10 at the 25.
So Aggie offense out. Stevens turns, hands off to Campbell. He'll fight forward for a couple of yards. Up to about the 33 yard line. And looks like more at the 32 is where they'll, no 33, they marked it there. So second down, seven yards to go. Hand off to Campbell is again, and oh, he's going to be hit in the backfield. Dropped back at the 25 yard line. Ball may have come loose. No, they'll say third down. 11.30 to play here in the third quarter. There's the snap. Stevens lets one go down the sideline. And an incomplete pass as he tried to get that one to Acosta. And defended there by Omari Oggs. That'll make it fourth down, so Aggies will have to punt. Hannon set to punt again. Sun is right in the eyes of Smith. That one partially blocked. Going to hit it about the 40-yard line and roll back. So it looks like it will be first and 10 in Aggie territory for the Bearcats. Ball at the 36-yard line. So Sutton drops back, fakes the short throw to his back, looking to go deep. He's hit hard, and he did let it go. Intercepted. Stepping in front of the pass was Green. Desmond Green with the interception. He's got to give some credit to the pass rush from the Aggies as they drilled Sutton right as he let it go. Aggies will take over at their own three yard line with 10.37 to play here in the third quarter. Aggie offense back out on the field, pistol formation. There's a snap, handoff to the tailback. Makes it up to the five, so a gain of about two on the play. Second down, eight yards to go.
Hand off to Ratliff again, trying to find somewhere to go. Did good just to get back up to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gained half a yard on the play. Third down. And we'll still call it eight. Aggies will hit the road for their next two contests as they'll travel to Wayland Baptist down in Plainview, Texas on September the 9th, and they'll head to Fort Worth on September 16th to take on Texas Wesleyan. Stevens keeps it this time on the read option and knocked out of bounds near the 10-yard line. So able to pick up a few, but it's not going to be enough for the first down, so the Aggies will be forced to punt from deep in their own territory again. So after those two row games, it will be homecoming here on September the 23rd, and the Aggies will take on Arkansas Baptist. They'll start that one at 6 o'clock in the evening as well. First three games of the season, they've made evening games. And boy, I tell you what, still in the 90s right now. We're really glad they did. There's the kick. Nice boot. That one's going to be caught by Smith in Aggie territory at the 48 up to the 40. 35 down the sideline and down at about the 30. So that's where the they'll have it with 8.23 to play here in the third. Sutton in the backfield with Cameron Ferguson. Hands off to Ferguson. Finds a gap. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Ferguson into the end zone. That was Ferguson's first carry of the game, 29-yard touchdown. We've got an injured Aggie on the field, so we'll take a short break here. 8-16 to play, 33 to nothing. Southwest Baptist leads Panhandle. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. Here we go for the extra point. Kick is up and good. 8.16 to play here in the third quarter. Southwest Baptist now leads Panhandle 34 to nothing. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. And don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. Okay. 
Grenninger set to kick off again to Partita and Roberson. High end over end kick. That one will be a little short. Bounds at the 10. Picked up at about the 5 up to the 10 yard line. He's going to be dropped there. That high bounce. Had to jump up to get it. Allowed the kick coverage to get down there a little quicker and make a play on that. So Aggies once again starting deep in their own territory. Looks like they'll place the ball right at the 10 yard line. Stevens looks to pass short. Now he'll throw deep. Caught at the 50, into the open, the 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Aggies, Draylon Roberson. Fought off the defender and took it to the house. <laughs> 90-yard touchdown pass from Sutton to Roberson, and the Aggies are on the board. Now, Alan Munoz will line up for the extra point for the Aggies. Brewer, the long snapper. Kick is up, and it is good. 7.59 to play here in the third quarter. Aggies are on the board. Board they trail deep for the Bearcats. Number 13, Avery Lambert. Number 14, Kylan Herrera. Here's the approach and the kick. High end over end kick, short. Caught at about the 12 yard line, up to the 20, the 25, the 30. Trips and falls forward to about the 35 yard line. That was Herrera on the return. So first and 10 for the Bobcats, or Bearcats, excuse me at the 37 yard line. Sutton, still a quarterback. Job Smith, the running back with him. Hand off, avoids the first tackler in the backfield, able to fight his way forward up past the 40 to the 41. Four yard gain, second down, six yards to go. Seven and a half left to play here. In this third quarter. Hand off again, finds a gap, up past midfield, still stiff arms, breaks a tackle. And into Aggie territory to about the 30 yard line before he's brought down by Green. That was made by Green. The 
Hand off to Job Smith again, fights his way forward to the 25 yard line. They'll mark him all the way up to the 24. So six yard gain on the play. Second down, four yards to go. 6.15 left here in the third. There's a snap, handoff again to Smith, breaks one tackle in the backfield, fights his way forward inside the 20. That'll be enough for a first down as he's finally tackled there at the 18. Five and a half on the third quarter clock. Tight end in motion. They'll pitch, pitch it out to Smith. Inside the 10 yard line where he's finally brought down. That's gonna be another first down, It'll be first and goal it looks like about the seven yard line. Hand off to Smith again, finds a gap and into the end zone. Well, Smith just about took care of all the offense on that drive. Turner in for the extra point. Kick is up and good. 434 left to play here in the third. Southwest Baptist now leads Panhandle State 41 to 7. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. Renninger set to kick off again. Partita and number 16, Roland Garrett back to receive. Partita grabs it inside the five up to the 10, 15, and hit down hard. About the 15, 16, though, it looks like they'll move him up to the 17 yard line. That's where the Aggies will have it. First and 10.
bit of confusion in the lineup for the Aggies. Still trying to get lined up. Five left on the clock. Did get it off with one second left. Oh, he got a flea flicker. Stevens in trouble, lets one go deep and had to just throw that one away. Hand off to Campbell, breaks through a few tackles, makes his way up past the 20-yard line. Looks like gain of four on the play, third down, four to go. Stevens back to pass, lets one go out in the flat to Partita. Had it in his hands, but got hit pretty solidly. Caused the ball to bounce out there and incomplete. Number 29, Joel Bishore, with the hit that knocked the ball loose. That'll make it fourth down, Aggies will punt. Hannon back on to handle the punting duties. Smith back deep to receive. And it's averaged 32 today. I think he's had several of them. That one blocked. That one is completely blocked. Picked up near the 25 yard line. He's had a couple of them tipped as well. That one was blocked. So Bearcats will take over in Aggie territory. Looks like right at the 25 yard line with 328 left to play here in the third quarter. New quarterback in, number 11, Logan Claiborne. Hands it off. Breaks the tackle. Ball loose on the floor ground and goes out of bounds backwards. Ball back to about the 27-yard line, so loss of two. That was Cameron Ferguson on the carry. Second down, 12 yards to go. Got a uh, little bit of relief here from the heat as we've finally dropped down to 90 degrees <laughs> and the sun's gone down a little bit. Got some shade out here. Throw over the middle. Almost caught on the tip. Through the intended receiver's hands. But Chance Pilar was back there and almost got his mitts on it. So third down, 12 yards to go. Aggie defense trying to get off the field here. In this threat, or at least hold them to a field goal attempt. They're kind of in that no man's land where they may have to go for it anyway. So you may see a play designed more to gain a short yardage than just trying to get it all. Off the receiver's hands, he tried to get it to Wilson. That'll make it fourth and 12, and they'll bring their field goal unit on. Turner, two for two today, both of them from 42 yards out. This one will be further. They'll be snapping it from the 27. They'll set up at the 
34, so a 44-yard attempt. Snap, hold is good, kick is up. And it is good, so three for three for Turner. All three from 40 plus. And the score now with 2.38 left in the third is 44 to seven in favor of Southwest Baptist. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. And don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. Renninger ready to kick off again. Partita and Roverson back. Roverson will field it just outside the five. Up to the 15. That's where he's going to be dragged down. First man there. Number 88, Jaquan Dorsey. So first and 10 for the Aggies at their own 15 yard line. So Stevens in the pistol turns, hands off to Campbell, trying to find somewhere to go. He'll be dropped for a loss back at the 13. So second down, 12 to go. There's a snap, handoff to Campbell again. He's going to be stopped before he got to the 15, maybe gained a yard. Maybe two, so third down, 10 yards to go. So Stevens drops back to pass, lets one go deep, and overthrown, intercepted. Jihad Fort with the interception, number 21. As Stevens tried to get the ball to Roberson again deep. Roberson comes up hobbling a little bit. Looks like he'll be okay. 59 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Claiborne takes a snap, throws it out wide. Oh, good hit there. Aggie defender number eight. Matt, do you have a defensive number eight? Okay. That was 
Number eight, Jaquavian King Fobbs on the tackle there. Came up a little lame there, so he'll have to come out of the game. But did put a big hit on. Might have cramped up. Still a hot night. The loss of about five on the play. Timeout on the field with 11 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Aggies trailing 44 to seven. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. Here we go, second down, about 15 to go. Claiborne and Smith in the backfield for the Bearcats. Player for the Aggies had to come off. I think it was injury tied or equipment tied, so had to get somebody in there. Number four, Alejandro Holguin into the game. Junior out of El Paso. There's the handoff to Smith trying to get outside. Can't get loose. First man there, number 48, Cale Harkey from New Deal, Texas, a freshman on the tackle, injured Aggie on the field. That is the end of the third quarter. It's Southwest Baptist 44, Panhandle State 7. So here we go with the fourth quarter, third down, 15 yards for the Bearcats. Aggie defense trying to get off the field here. Force a punt or a turnover here. Back to pass. Let's one go deep. He's got a man open out there, caught on his feet, still finally falls down at about the 23 yard line. That was Claiborne. Down to number 15, Kanan Mullins. So first and 10 for the Bearcats. Deep in Aggie territory, just outside the red zone. Back to pass again, pass outside, caught again. 
by Mullins for a short gain. So second down and five, ball at the 19. Claiborne back to pass again. Let's one go over the middle. He's got a man there caught right near the goal line. Looks like they'll mark him short of the end zone by about a yard. Okay, catch was made by number 84, Gunnar Ellison. And looks like a penalty will bring that back, maybe. So it's third down, five yards to go. Back to pass again, over the middle, caught by the tight end. Fights his way forward to the 10 yard line. That's gonna be enough for a first down. That was caught again by Ellison to the 11. So it'll be first and 10 actually. 13 and a half left to play. Back to pass again, Claiborne goes to the corner of the end zone, just off the outstretched hand of his receiver. Number 89, Blake Gordon. Overthrew him just a touch. Makes it second and 10. Quarterback keeper on the delay. He'll find the end zone. Claiborne in for the touchdown. So Turner will line up for the extra point. Kick is up and good. So with 13.02 left to play, Southwest Baptist 51, Panhandle State 7. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. And don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. So Grinninger set to kick off again. He 
End over end kick. All the way back to about the four. And going to be hit and drugged down Partita at about the 13 yard line. Samuel Steffi on the tackle. So first and 10 for the Aggies. Stevens keeps it, tries to get outside. He's going to be dropped for a loss back at about the six yard line. There's a snap. Stevens keeps it on the read option up past the 10 near the 14 yard line. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage so it'll be third down. Actually gained a yard past that so third down and nine. 12 minutes still to play in this one. Stick around after the game. We'll make our way out onto the field after this one. And we'll talk to head coach Corey Miller, get his thoughts on today's contest. Delay of game on the Aggies is gonna drop them back Five back to the nine yard line. Handoff finds a gap up to the fifteen. That was Ratliff on the carry. And the Aggies will be forced to punt again as it will be fourth down and about six to go. Clock running just under 11 minutes to play. Smith lines up right at the midfield stripe. Hannon set to punt again. And they'll have to be careful. Bearcats have gotten their hands on a couple of these. Did get that one away, a solid kick, drives him back inside his own 40 to the 35. Smith trying to find a lane. There's a hole that's gonna bring that one that back. He made it up to the Aggie 40 yard line, but a clear hold will bring that one back. Good coverage there by C.J. Holmes to draw the holding call. Pre-snap penalty. Snap. 
Illegal snap called on the center. So they'll move back five. And it will be first and 15. Ball on the 27. Handoff on the jet sweep. And a nice tackle there. C.J. Holmes stepped out, made that tackle on Pilar. So a loss back to the 25, so loss of two. Second down, 17 to go. Back to pass, under pressure, avoids the sack, rolls out to his right, lets one go deep, and well defended there. And they're going to say it was caught in bounds, intercepted. Jaquavian. And that was Katina, Katina Ray on the interception. Fantastic play right there on the sideline. Able to get a foot down, the Aggies take over. Possession at their own 45 with 9.44 to play. Aggie offense back out on the field. Number eight, Dontrell Session in quarter at quarterback fumbles on the exchange. He's going to be dropped for a loss back at the 40. So a loss of five or six on the play. Looks like right at five. Session handoff inside and a hard hit after just a couple of yards there. Running the ball there, number 22, Eric Barlow. A junior from Brookhaven, Massachusetts. Third down, 16 yards to go for the Aggies. Eight and a half left in this one. Back to pass, under pressure, he'll roll out to his left and gonna be sacked. Back at about the 37, so that'll make it fourth down and the Aggies will be forced to punt again. That one blocked. And ball will be downed in Aggie territory at the 47 yard line. And that's where Southwest Baptist will take over with seven and a half to play here in this contest.
Riley Walker, the quarterback in pistol formation handoff straight up the middle. Nice gain there by Ferguson. Nine yards. Make it second down, one to go. Clock under seven to play. Hand off to Ferguson again, straight up the middle. He'll have the first down inside the 35 to the 34. Overload backfield to the right. Ferguson that way, right behind those blockers. Ball down to the 30. So gain of three. Looks like they'll give him forward progress to the 29. So gain of four. Second down, six yards to go. And off to Ferguson again, finds a gap. 10, five, touchdown, Bearcats. Turner lines up for the extra point again. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and it's good. 5.37 left to play in this one. Southwest Baptist, 58, Panhandle State, 7. From racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today. Jabari Coleman. Back with Partita to receive the kick. Grenninger set up to kick off once again for the Bearcats. Partita under it at the 10, the 15, up to the 20. And brought down there at maybe the 21 yard line. Pistol formation, Session takes it, hands it off. Bounce outside and brought down there by Ricky Woodhouse. Eric Barlow on the carry. Eric Barlow on the carry. Once 
Once again, stick with us after the game. I'll talk with head coach Corey Miller and his after his first contest as the Aggies head coach. Under five to play in this one. Once again, Aggies playing up a division in this as this is NCAA Division II, higher scholarship limits than are allowed in the NAIA. So this was going to be an uphill battle in the first game of the season as well. So third down after that carry. Six yards to go. want to remind you again, Aggies up Kevin's schedule. They'll be on the road for the next two Sooner Athletic Conference games, September 9th and September 16th. They'll be at Wayland Baptist first and then at Texas Wesleyan. Next time the Aggies will be at home is against Arkansas Baptist. That'll be homecoming on September the 23rd at 6 p.m. PTCI will be there to cover it and session is gonna be sacked. Caden Ford, number 45 there for the sack. So third down and 12. With PTCI, we will have all five of the home games on our YouTube live stream. Hannon set to punt again. Smith back to receive again. Clock rolls under 320 to play. Able to get that one off cleanly. Not a great punt though. Ball down at the Aggie 45 yard line. 305 to play. Aggies trail 58-7. Walker and Joby Smith in the backfield. Hand off to Smith. Finds a gap at the 40, the 30, tripped up. That might have been a touchdown saving tackle there. Number 24, Rudy Valenzuela from El Paso, Texas. The sophomore got a hand on this foot and got him down. First, first and 10. Finds a gap again, this time on the left side, and he will go into the end zone. 29 yard touchdown. Turner set for the extra point again. It's up and good. 227 to play. 65-7. Bearcats lead the Aggies. Grinegar set to kick off again. Coleman and Partita back to receive the kick.
High end over end kick. Partita catches at the 10. Tries to go to the top side, up to the 20, the 25. Finds a small gap past the 30. Steps out of bounds about the 33. Flag thrown though, so we'll see what that is. Probably in the area of a holding call or block in the back. And a block in the back. So where the Aggies look like they'd have some decent field position, it's gonna be taken away. Ball placed back at the 20 yard line. That's where the Aggies will have it, first to 10 with two minutes and 17 seconds left. There's a first down run up to about the 25. That was Barlow again on the carry. Looks like they gave him four. Second down, six yards to go. Minute and a half left, hand off to Barlow again. He's gonna be dropped in the backfield for a loss of a yard or two. Third down, about seven to go. Session, handoff to Barlow, and he's met almost as soon as he took the handoff. So another loss will make it fourth and 10 under 30 seconds to play. They haven't reset the play clock. Aggies set to punt, but I don't think they're going to. I think that's the end of the game. So Southwest Baptist comes to Aggie land and defeats the Aggies 65 to seven. Stick around. I'll talk with head coach Corey Miller after the game on the field.
So we'll talk to uh, Coach Miller here in just a moment, going over some of the team stats from the game. Uh, first downs, Southwest Baptist with 26 to four for the Aggies. Let's go down, find total total yards. Uh, Southwest Baptist with 67 plays for 570 yards. Panhandle State with 55 plays for 191. Rushing the ball, 332 for the Bearcats, 97 for the Aggies. Receiving the ball, 239 yards receiving for the Bearcats, 94 for the Aggies. Aggies were 3 of 18 passing with one interception or one touchdown. Bearcats were 16 of 32 with three touchdown passes. Bearcats averaged eight and a half yards per play while the Aggies averaged 3.47. Kick return yards for the Aggies, they had 10 kick returns, so they had 130 30 yards total, but obviously need to average better than 13 yards on that. Two for 44 for Southwest Baptist. We'll look at some of the, let me move over like to, to the back. individual stats. With the setup and takedown of our tailgate zone. Plus special thanks to the OPSU Police Department, Goodwill Emergency Crew, Goodwill Police, and Campus Security for providing security and to our Aggie athletes for all their help at the gates. And we most of all thank you for attending this afternoon slash evening's game. Have a safe drive home wherever you call home. And once again, thank you for joining us here at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. Leading receiver for the Aggies was Draylon Ro Roberson with that one catch for 90 yards, the touchdown. Rushing yards, C.J. Campbell finished with 77 yards on 17 attempts, averaged four and a half yards per carry. Had the big one that was, I think, about 45 yards. Yeah, they got the Aggies out of deep in their own territory. Ran and Steven, the quarterback, ran 10 times for 52 yards. Of course, he netted just 29 when you take away the sacks. So we look on the defensive side for the Aggies leading tacklers. Ty Woodson was seven. Jaquavian King Fobbs was six. Amarian Millsap with four. And Treshawn Moore with four as well. Victor Villa had the only sack of the game for the Aggies. And we don't have the stats there. A couple of interceptions on the game for the Aggies as well. Still waiting for Coach Miller. As he's meeting with his team down in the end zone right now. Of course, as me mentioned earlier for the Aggies, it's a little bit different tonight. They are stepping up in classification, taking on a NCAA Division II team, and hats off to that team. Southwest Baptist for making the trip out here to the Panhandle all the way from Missouri. That way the Aggies could have this game. And of course, Coach Corey Miller maybe would have preferred to have a warm-up game before you play a higher-level team. Uh, but I'm sure he's telling his guys down there part of it is we'll put this one away and get ready for the next one as they'll start Sooner Athletic Conference play right away here next, next Saturday when they hit the road and head down to Texas for two weeks. We'll look at the stats for Southwest Baptist. Passing yards, Colin Sutton was 12 of 23. For 191 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Of 
For the Aggies, it was uh, Brandon Stevens who finished three of 18, with one interception, one touchdown for 94 yards. Rushing for Southwest Baptist, Joby Smith finished with 109 yards and two touchdowns, averaged 12 yards per carry. Abel Carter, their starter, ran nine times for 82 yards to average nine yards, scored a touchdown as well. Cameron Ferguson, six attempts for 74 yards and two touchdowns. Then Colin Sutton, five carries for 48 yards. Leading receivers had four players with two. Kylan Herrera had two for 82 yards. Jordan Kent had two for 58 yards. He also had a TD. Isaac Scroggins had two for 15 yards. And Roderick Weaver had two for 14 yards. As far as tackles, Quentin Ivory led the team with six. Chris Chaputis with four. Killian Carper with four. And Ricky Woodhouse with four. And Coach uh, Corey Miller will join us here in just a minute. He's headed our way after talking to his team in his first debut as the Aggies coach. All right, we're here with head coach Corey Miller. Of course, Coach, uh, your de debut as the coach, and you're playing up. It's <laughs> kind of a tough thing. You're probably with over 100 players still learning guys' names, and you're playing uh, up up a classification as well. So probably a little bit of put things behind tonight as you talk to your team. Tell us what your thoughts are on tonight's game. Well, you know, sometimes you're the teacher, sometimes the student. Today we're the student, all right? They gave us the greatest gift that we can get us, and that's an opportunity to learn. Um, the nice thing I told the guys, this game doesn't count for anything. Um, there's a non-conference opponent. There's a guy up there. But the only way this, this game is a failure or anything like that if we don't learn from it. All right? They gave us a chance. They exposed some things that we aren't doing well enough on all, all three phases of the game. And we got to go back and fix that before we start conference play. So what, what they're able to do is give us a great blueprint of what we need to go back and fix versus if we played some team that wasn't very good and we thought we were a lot better you know the first game you're never as good as you think you are and you're never as bad as you think you are but there's a lot of things to work with we were able to you know we could we could have kept guys in and tried to keep the score down but there was no point we subbed down in the third quarter try to get some young guys um some some opportunities to go out there and play and, and get their feet wet and you know with two-thirds of the roster being brand new it you know it's, it was a little bit of a learning experience but you know if we take the right mindset and uh, we, go, we come back on Monday and we learn from this and then we bury it, it could be a blessing in disguise for us. Well, Coach, in a game like this, it's easy to find the negatives. It's not never hard. What were some of the positives that you came away with? Uh, we had three interceptions on defense, which was pretty good. Um, when we could protect, our punter kicked the ball pretty well. Um, in terms of that, we did we hit some runs, but we just couldn't you know continue it you know that's where we're trying to identify ourselves as a physical football team you know we hit it we finally hit a big play to get on the scoreboard um, a little bit we have it we showed it in spurts you know second quarter we adjusted back down and played some decent defense and we ran out of gas there late and they started running the ball on us and so um you know that's there's there's little glimpses in there there's little glimpses in there but you know um you know we just got to learn from it well um of course, conference play starts up right away. Sooner Athletic Conference is a tough one, and it's nine straight nine straight games. What are your thoughts heading into your first Sooner Athletic Conference game? 
Um, we're pretty excited. We open up with Waylon. That's going to be a good test and a good battle. I mean, the, the nice thing a little bit is they'll look a little bit more like us than these guys did, and so they're not going to be as big up front. Um, Maybe not outweigh you by 50, 50 pounds per man? Yeah, you know, we got the backups in there. There's about 100 pounds in there. So, you know, but a lot of these guys got their first game of football, and usually you see the biggest jump, especially with such young guys, between the first and second game. So, you know, you can't you're gonna you're gonna bleed for a little while you, you know it hurts obviously that you know, look at a school board and see that um, I've been on both ends of the spectrum uh, this type of stuff but you know I, I sometimes joke I'd rather be blown out than lose a close game and so um, at least we got a lot to, to go back and look and fix well coach we wish you guys the best of luck we appreciate you joining us after the game and who have we got here with us Contino Ria. Uh, Ray, yeah, you had a nice interception over there. Uh, tell us what happened on that play. Uh, see ball, get ball. Uh, I missed one in the, in the corner back there. I had to get one for my team. That's the only thing we know. We had to get us some interceptions. Coach liked interceptions, so we had to get us some. Uh, when you're when you're in a game like this, you're playing a an opponent that, like I said, they play up. And of course, just as a competitor, you you like to play those games and everything. But what do you see out there that's different than maybe playing it? Playing in the Sooner Athletic Conference is a little bit bigger, a little more speed. Uh, I just seen a little more size. That's really. I think we had a talent to match up with anybody. They just had a little more size than us, and they uh, won the game in the trenches and all that everywhere. Well, what are your thoughts head, heading into your first Sooner Athletic Conference game coming up next week? What do the Aggies have to do to come away with a win? I feel good. We uh, just erase this film, just watch it, and then erase this film and get ready for Wheeling. We know what we care with love. I think we have it. All right, we appreciate you joining us. Good luck to you guys on the road. The Aggies head down to Texas for the next two weeks. They'll be back for homecoming the week after that, and PTCI will have that game. So that's it from Goodwell. Good night from Goodwell, Oklahoma. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good luck to you guys. You lock your doors to keep criminals out, but do you lock your network doors? It's also important to keep your home network protected. According to experts, cybercrime continues to increase. With Protect IQ added to the PTCI Wi-Fi app, you can lock your home network doors. Don't wait to lock out intruders. Visit ptci.net to request Protect IQ and to download the PTCI Wi-Fi app today. Racing the dunes to just escaping the daily grind, everyone's got their thing. So whether you're all about the thrill or the chill, PTCI Cellular allows you the freedom to explore however you like. Connect, share, and discover every adventure, even in the most remote places. Choose the cellular company that keeps you connected to the experiences that matter most to you. Choose PTCI today.